And hello and welcome back guys and girls, this is the Prussian Prince back with another Hearts Vine 3, their finest hour, let's play episode as the Chinese. So we've got Japan, which is very awesome, they're our puppet, they're giving us stuff and they will help us against everybody else. We can now call them to arms, they're also at war with Manchuku now I guess, funny, because <laughs> we actually have Manchuku, where are they? At. I can't see where they're actually in exile to. It must be in Germany, I guess. Where the major is actually. No. Well, obviously we're a major now. It's quite normal. But for Axis, there's a lot of members actually. A lot of those are also taken. But anyway, we've got Afghanistan. Which is very good. We're gonna get Persia this uh, episode I guess and then we'll go for Turkey but this will be important to take though we will we'll have to retake um... now actually I could put uh, these as uh, orders for UK and USA same thing over here USA and UK please do it Please do it, USA and UK. Please take those provinces. But now USA should be helping. They probably are going to send... Well, hopefully they're going to send units there. Maybe I should signal them. Yeah. Paris for USA. Let's put in Cherbourg for USA. As well as... Uh, San Melo, because why the hell not? And over here in Nantes, USA. Do everything USA, everything at once. How many units do they actually have though? Wonder. USA, they've got 300 brigades. Not the most I've seen, but pretty decent amount. Mm, okay, these guys have to die. They, they are dying. Next, we will send these guys all the way to the west. Supply production, yay, we're gonna get that as well. Even more supplies are gonna be produced now. Oh, we got attacked by the Persians. Wait, we lost some battle? Where did we lose a battle? Hmm, that's strange. Didn't actually, oh, we must have attacked down here and it failed or something like that. But yeah, we will wait until we get all the way down here and we can make them surrender to us and make them our puppet. Wish I could really, I would really wish I could build infrastructure in puppets because it really, it really is crap over here. It just hurts us like really badly. But then if we go through here, maybe we'll actually get. Uh, we start getting into Vichy France. Do we? Can we add war goals? Huh. <laughs> Restore France. But how does that work? Because Vichy France still doesn't hold this. Hmm. Okay. You can install democracy or conquer them, but I don't want to conquer them. I don't want to do that. Maybe I probably want to restore France, I guess. Restore the French nation. Hmm. This is going to take a long while for us to get uh, all the way over here. And we're still building lots of uh, ships, but... Are we going to be building enough ships, though? Well, we should probably go to Tabriz, too, just in case we need it. But I don't think we're going to need it. We just need these two VPs, probably. Hmm. Oh, look, they're actually helping us. Bhutan, I think it is. Ooh, we lost this battle. We lost all our organization too, but it's going up very quickly. I'm surprised we actually have supplies. I'm surprised there are su supplies. <laughs> oh, Poland. They have been taken by Soviet Union now. And these British units over here, they're actually fighting back the Germans. Well, not Germans actually, it looks like Romanians, Hungarians, and Italians defending all the way over here. It's quite funny. Is there anyone else? No. 
Oh, Bulgarians too. We have 3000 manpower, land lease. Okay. But I can't actually distribute any land lease to them. I don't, don't really want to. So I'm going to put that on zero. Ooh, we actually got something. Oh, aircraft carrier stuff, as usual. Hmm, now our ships still are not out there, but these guys should finally give up. Oh no, it's just 92%. Oh, we still have to wait. We So we actually have to take this one. We actually have to. But they're not holding here. They're actually going to go back. Okay. That makes it much better for us then. Yeah, this this one we're going to win no matter what. Because our units are much better. And we got all these nav uh, techs, which are very good. Very helpful. Ramsar. Yeah, we can't do anything over there. Sorry for that. And we're going to win this engagement. These guys have barely started the attack but here we go soon we'll take it and CAS 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 is really good we obviously need more officer ratio at this rate we might make it with the Briz before before we get over there but look at Soviets they are they actually pushing them back in the north no but they took Poland which is very important and the British they are uh, keeping up, holding up so many units of the Axis over here, which is really good, of course. I'm glad they're doing that. And come on, Persia, you've got to give up to me at some point. We still haven't taken this province either. And now, finally, we're out of supplies. Great. But now we pop it and got Persia as a democracy. Yay for democracy. Next, Iraq. Hmm. Next, Turkey, though, I guess. Hmm. Oh, Britain. Yay. They actually re responded to this. They're actually going to go in and take that. They should probably go for Tel Aviv Yefo 2, though. Hmm. But yeah, this is, this is a really nice job that they're doing right now. Hmm. I'm actually gonna go and take, uh, hopefully take Turkey and pop it for ourselves. Let's keep going. I mean, we have a lot of puppets right now. Afghanistan, Persia, Japan, and Siam. And Tibet, I think, yeah, Tibet too. We are really strong. And we're not the most powerful. That would probably be Germany, Soviet Union, or USA. But still, oh, they're actually making it work through Germany. Germany is just going to die soon. I have a feeling. Because the British, they have invaded over here. And they're just going to keep invading. And you Americans, when are you going to send your men? We want your men over there. And Yep, Americans are out of here though. Oh, they actually gave some expeditionary forces to Japan. Alright. Allied Army Comparison, USA has over 300 brigades now, but we have the most out of allies. It's expected. It's very much so expected. But now though, once we're gonna push into Turkey, well, pushing in from the east is kind of funny, but because with Romania I pushed in from the west, and we're gonna go this is such a long uh, border with Soviet Union that we have, and it's gonna be even bigger once we get Turkey. But wow, this, what UK is doing over here is just crazy. And crazy, I mean, uh, by crazy I mean good, amazing. And great, insane, insanity. Yeah, that's just about all the words I can use to describe it. I wish I could give manpower to my fellow allies, because I cannot use it at all. I have way too many units as it is. Well, not... I could use, like, let's say 300 more brigades, but... I don't want to beef up my officer ratio. 
because I don't really need it. Small navigation radar as usual. But yeah, by August, I think I'm going to end this episode. Small air search radar as well. This is, as always, very good technology to get. And we should get to Turkey, right? Pop it and install democracy. Uh, we only have four divisions here. It's going to be enough. It, honestly, it probably will. Because I don't think they're very strong. I'm going to pop it to Turkey and then right click. Wait. Go like this and then go like this. Then go like this, this. Go like this. Yeah, pretty much how it's going to be like. Oh, whoops. Yeah, that's, that's a much better way of doing it, I think. So yeah, that was an easy, two easy victories in the beginning as expected because they were not ready for war, not mobilized or anything. Probably officer ratio is even worse than ours. I wish I could have 140% officer ratio, but can't have everything that you want, of course. And again, getting another victory over here, pretty easy one. Look at their low organization and strength. It's going to make it even easier for us to take care of them. But I mean, operational level organization is so good now that we don't even need to wait to keep attacking the next province. So we're just... Oh, they're going to... Wow, we were actually so fast that we got here before they... <laughs> before they reached this province. That was pretty cool. We're gonna do the same thing here. We might. We might actually do it. Oh, they lost another division. Oh, that's that's pretty cool that we can do this. But yeah, they're once again they, they're gonna lose this and they're gonna lose the next one too. Soviet Union conquers Slovakia. Oh my god. I sped up too quickly. <laughs> it's look at already how this looks like. Germany got screwed over here in the north. Soviet Union's taken everything back. And UK is dominating, dominating Germany. Look, they've got everything. And Germany is almost surrendered. This is insane. <laughs> this is actually really big. And then Italy would be next. Wow. Just wow. So I guess this would pretty much be the ending of our uh, little uh, war. Oh, we ran out of uh, ran out of uh, points. Not points, but organization. And we're gonna keep going through because Turkey. We have to get Turkey because it would be nice to get Turkey. And then we want that province too. But anyway, hope you guys and girls enjoyed. And if you want to see more, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. And I will see you next time.